Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have decided to film the dog tag. I have decided to finally do a video with my baby where I officially introduce my little papa to the world to YouTube. He's always on my Instagram stories because he spends most of his day with me and I spend most of my day with him. And he's a little sleepy because this is his sleep time. But you wake up, wake up. But yeah, so I've like widened the frame because he's going to be playing around in the background. He never sits in one place or sleeps in one place. And I'm filming a dog tag where basically I'm just going to talk about my dog for 10 minutes straight. So if you're interested to watch that and know more about this little guy, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first question is what is your pet's name? Of course, my pet's name, my baby's name is Fudge. Uh, and the second question is how did you come up with the name? So, Fudge basically when he was born, like when he was small and he came into our lives, he was this cute little ball of chocolate. Like he was such a dark brown shade, like exactly like chocolate and he had the most beautiful markings with like white and brown and I wanted to name him a food item that I was sure of so it was me, my best friend Purnima and Kaida that we were sitting on the bed and thinking of names so we were calling him every name on the list of dog names website and I could not relate to any of them then finally we came down to Nutella and we were going to name him something around Nutella like Ferrero or something of that sort and then I was like it's not going with his personality you know and then I was like it's more like you know chocolate like chocolate fudge and the Purnima was like Fudge and that's how we gave up with Fudge so that's why we named this little guy Fudge Hi Fudge! Fudge! Okay, what breed is your pet? What breed are you Fudge? He's a Shih Tzu He's a Chinese breed and he's a Shih Tzu uh, How long have you had your pet friend? So I got him around um, October 2018 so I've had him definitely for more than a year a year and a half more than that how did you get your pets so I uh, actually got him from a breeder I did not adopt fudge uh, I really do believe that you should adopt dogs the only reason why I could not adopt my pet was because I wanted to get a very small breed because not everybody in my house does like dogs and so it would only purely be a very low active breed where I could be able to completely take care of my dog so yeah they all are comfortable with the idea of a dog but they do not they cannot take care of the dog so the bigger the dog the more energy needs they have and the more care they need like even he needs a lot of care a lot of attention but that's just like passive attention he just needs to be in a room full of people which in my house there are people all the time but they, nobody can do anything for him so basically like his walks and his playtime everything just starts after I come home so I needed a dog which could specifically have low energy needs who was small in size didn't occupy much space and all of that and that's why I had to get this little guy who's like very tiny and small uh, definitely when I have my own house I would love to adopt more dogs I would love to have a house full of dogs that's like my dream home what is your pet's favorite thing to eat? My pet's favorite, most favorite thing to eat is Pachu Papaya? 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 <laughs> when you say papaya, oh my god, this guy loves papaya. Papaya and bone. Pachu bone. Bone. Come in, I'll give you bone. Come in. <laughs> We're not getting any bone. We don't have bone in the house. Bones are over. Okay. What game does your pet love to play? He loves to play fetch. He loves like he has this particular toy that he loves. This is his favorite toy and like fetch with this toy. He does everything with this toy. This is like his best buddy in the house. Raju, toy is your look. Who wants it? Jump. Okay, the next question is, is your pet a cuddle and chill kind of pet or a let go explore sort of pet? So my pet personally doesn't like to let go explore also but he loves going down. Like he loves meeting new people and love ex Like actually yeah, he's more of a let go explore kind of person. He loves going to new places, meeting new people, meeting all my friends, going to their houses, going for his walk. Faju, wanna go for a walk? Huh? Wanna go for a walk? 
he loves going for his walk and mere cuddle with him na like when he's very sleepy he'll cuddle but if he's not sleepy he likes to wake out of my hands and like go and sleep in his corner he loves to sleep on the floor he doesn't even sleep on the bed what is your favorite memory with your pet i think my favorite memory which i again again every time look back to is the time i got him because it was very precious he was this tiny being and it was such an overwhelming feeling he was like sleeping in my lap and that is when i realized that oh my god he's real and oh my god i have to take care of him and when he came to, to my room and i put him down on the floor he was like sniffing every corner of my room to like get familiar and this was going to be his room so i i wanted him to be as comfortable as possible so that first day of getting him i remember it to the t everything to the t and that is my favorite memory of him what are some quirky things about your pet's personality So Faj is very possessive. He's very possessive of his people, like and his things. More so things than people. Like if some some other dog is licking me and playing with me, he doesn't mind. He's just like as long as that dog is away from me, I'm good because he hates other dogs. He's not socialized with other dogs. But he's very possessive of his things. Like he, if it's his toy, it's his ball, it's his things. He's gonna take them and go and sit in his corner in the room and. If anybody comes close to him, he growls. He's like, he knows I'm talking about him. He'll be like, grr, grr, grr. <laughs> this is what he does. So he, he's very possessive about his things. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? For me, Fudge is everything. Like everything. He's my child. He's my son. He's my best friend. He's my confidant. I sit and talk to him. I I do everything with him. Like the minute I come home from college, it's all about Fudge. <laughs> it's always all about fudge it's about his food it's about his work it's about playing with him and he even during exams i am bound to do all of this because spending time with him is important he he's a big time attention seeker and he will not let me study he knows when i'm sick he's come here what up he's very understanding he's not like always demanding but most of the times he is he wants his attention but if he knows i'm sick or i'm unwell then he'll sit in the corner he'll sleep long hours with me that time he's ready to alter his schedule but when he knows i'm just being lazy he's going to bark his ass off and be like get up from your bed woman and do my work so that's the relationship we have he keeps me on my toes and i love him mm. i love you no i love you no They're talking about you, but you we love the attention, don't you? Oh, uh, what are some of your favorite things to do with your pet? So initially, I was not like taking him for walks. I used to get very bored to take him for walks, and so even I hired a walker in between. But actually, now my favorite thing to do with him is to take him for his walk because it's very relaxing for me also, and I don't like the idea of a walker taking him for walk because. Honestly these dog walkers they just stand in one place and they don't really walk the dog and I want my fudge to expend his energy when he goes for his walks so I take him for his walks and like that's my favorite thing to do with him. What nicknames do you call your pet? We call him everything. We call him Fudge, we call him Fudge Baba, Laddu, Shonu, Golu, Molu. Yeah. We call him everything. Literally, I don't call him every word on the planet, and he'll respond at this point. Because only when he doesn't want to respond, he will not listen to you. But other than that, he knows if I'm making any cute sound, it's for him. What tricks can your pet do? So Fudge can. Okay, I'll show it to you guys. Hi Fudge. Hi. Fudge, what tricks can you do? Can you give shake hand? Good boy. Can you give high five? Fudge. Fudge. Can you give high five? Good boy. Yes. It's a tish my doggy. Okay, so the next question is what is the funniest thing your pet has done? <laughs> okay, so once we were at Tamana's house and we were drinking we, we were all drinking water from the glass and I didn't realize how thirsty this guy was till like Tamana was just holding her glass like this and talking and then he came and then started drinking water from the glass it was so funny I have a video of that I'm going to insert it here he was literally his face was snouted inside that glass and he has a flat face if you can observe he doesn't have a snout he he's a flat nose doggy flat nose doggy what is the boldest thing your pet has done He's a very big fat too. He doesn't do anything bold as such, but I think uh 
barking at street dogs like once i saw him so angry that all this there were three four street dogs who were tailing him and like trying to come behind him and he just turned and he barked so loud that all the street dogs went back to their buildings literally all of them and i had to do nothing usually i'm the one telling them shoo shoo like you know don't come close to him because he's very scared but he once just barked them all away he like got very angry at them so yeah that's the boldest thing i think he's done what impresses you the most about your pet so for me fudge is a very understanding dog he's he's super smart he will understand anything and everything you say to him i feel like literally i'm talking to a human because like suppose just for an instance he was eating his food and then i was eating papaya so he wanted my papaya i just told him complete your food and then i'll give it to you he went right back and like started eating his food and then once he was done i gave him his papaya so he's so smart i just have to talk to him in human language there's no code language that we have apart from like shake hand and all of that we just talk in normal human language and he understands everything like even when mom comes and the bell rings and if i tell him it's not mom it's somebody else he'll go back to sleep he only is interested when mom is come at the door so this these small things he just understands he's super smart he catches up really quickly even to train him about all these things it barely took me some time he was a very fast trained dog like i barely spent any time with him is your pet house trained or an outside pet so he's a house house dog he's not an outside pet and he's very much a home body he loves being at home and but he loves his home with people like he cannot stay in an empty home our house is never really empty so we don't really keep him alone we've never actually kept him alone i want to be able to train him later on so that he can stay by himself but uh, so far he's never stayed alone like there's always somebody if nobody is my dadi is chotu who's like my house help so there's always somebody at home with fudge even if they are not doing anything he just needs the presence of a human where is your favorite place to bring your pet my favorite place to take him is my friend's place like if we are going out like on a drive or something we take him in the car but he's very restless he doesn't like to sit in the car for very long but like to any close friend who stays close by like my friend tamana she is really close so i love taking him there because her mom also loves meeting her him and uh, like we all have a nice time over there or like to put in a mass place or any house basically that's close by so that we can go there fast and he has a good time with all those people he loves tamana purnima all of these are like his best friends all my friends are his best friends okay so the last question is what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner i think the most rewarding thing is that it's unconditional love a pet will always unconditionally love you even when you're going through a hard time even when you're unwell even when humans don't understand you you know there are those times when you feel like you don't want to talk to anyone and nobody understands you and just you have nobody like you feel alone i never feel lonely because of fudge like even if i'm in my room having a bad moment a bad day crying like you know sobbing in my sheets he is down there looking at me looks at me constantly like you know are you fine are you okay even in this quarantine phase that we are going through right now fudge is the only reason i wake up from bed every morning to be in my routine because he's so much in his routine that he wants to go for his walk he wants to do this what he is set in his routine so he if i don't wake up he will bark and he will make sure i wake up so you know all of these things just keeps me very attached to him and it's the most rewarding thing it keeps you on your toes it keeps you happy and you always have someone is unconditional love and they just have you and sometimes you also just have them and most of the time they just have fudge fudge is my most 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 favorite living thing on earth mm -hmm. okay so we signed up for today's video it was a fun segment i love talking about my baby and i'm so glad i got to do it for a specific video he's getting super restless now so we are going to sign out if you enjoyed this video and for any baby fudge go hit the like button comment below and let us know if there's any other video you want to do with fudge and we will do that for you right am i right yes okay guys i will see you in my next video bye guys love you all see mm -hmm.